Hey, Tony. Looks like you and you and I at this point, Bill. Yep. How's your ankle doing? Much better. Walking. Good. Good. Yeah, it's good. Thanks. How are you doing? Uh, reasonably well. Probably seventy-five percent where awesome. I need to be. It's, wow. uh, still trying to build the strength up. Yeah, me too. In the back. Yep. But it's coming. I do a lot of walking. That's good. A lot of time in the gym. There's Sharon. And when you're on the phone someplace. <clears throat> Bill, you're getting smart coming in before Ed gets here. Yeah, that's it. You guys hear my air conditioner? Not really. No, oh, okay. That's funny. You can hear it in the background a little bit, but it's not. See, Jim's on early, too. <laughs> yep, that's right. Here. Remember last month, Ed had trouble getting in. Remember, we had to wait for him. <laughs> Good lesson is never to wait for the last minute to get into the Zoom call. No, no. Hey, wait for the mechanism. Oh, no. Let's go away now. Let's just look at the age summary, the age receivables $323. Yeah, I saw that too. That's incredible. That's interesting. Yeah, you got to wonder if that's updated or not. Well, there was a note on it. It said uh, they collected one hundred and thirty-four thousand dollars in cash in June. Oh, huh? well, that's good. Yeah, I mean that was all of it, almost. I do think it's odd. I'm rubbing around for money as a food. Veneer, you're not muted. How many people are we expecting? 
thank everybody. Everybody responded okay. and said they were coming. Okay, because I saw Jeremy and I saw Jim and Monier. Oh. Here comes Ray, he's getting in. Hello. Yep, I can Hi, see Ray. him. Hear him. Hi, Ray. Everybody know Monier's phone number so they can text him? Oh, you know what? Are you the host, Tony? No. No, no I'm not. Uh, Christina is until Ed gets here. Is she on? Christina, are you on? No, she just starts a meeting and disappears. Yeah, she doesn't yeah, get on to speak to. Yeah. But she's the host till Ed gets on. But when Ed gets on and he becomes the host, he forgets to let people in. Yeah. <laughs> We've all learned. Yeah, Meneer's muted now. Yep. Thursday, I'm going down to Chesapeake, Virginia to visit the grandkids. Kathy's already down there. She made a circuitous route to see a bunch of people. But uh, that new discount airline, Breeze, it's flying out of Hartford, has oh, a dir direct flight to Norfolk. Oh, wow. For 70, 75 bucks. Wow. Ooh. Can't beat that. So I told yeah. Kathy, I don't think I'm ever driving to Virginia again. Yeah. And they go to Norfolk, Charleston, Pittsburgh, Indianapolis, someplace else, Tampa maybe, and all their flights are direct. They don't have that many, and they only pretty much fly on Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Monday. Oh. But they don't have really any connecting flights. The only scary thing about those uh, airlines is that we went one time to Puerto Rico to do a cruise, and these people booked a flight back on Sun Country or something. And some country only had one flight a week out of Puerto Rico, and they canceled their flight. Oh, okay. Oh. So they got stuck there. They either had to get another airfare, or they had to get uh, to wait a whole week to come home. That's not good. Darren, you got muted. Looks like everybody's here. Who am I missing? Terry, I Jeremy. Think. Oh yeah, Jeremy said he was going to be here. Where yeah. is he? He's not Waiting in. For you to let him in. Well, I don't see a. I don't see a request. Let me see. Uh, I don't. I don't see anybody. No. Terry said he was going to be here. Oh, Terry's in the waiting room. Well, I guess I should admit him. Yeah, more than again. <laughs> All right, so Terry's in. Sorry, sorry, Terry. Oh, admit. Come on. I, I, you have to admit, hit admit about five times. There you go. I don't see Jeremy, though. He's not in the... Oh, it takes a long time for Terry to get joining. Hmm. There he comes. Oh, there he is. Up oh, there's Jeremy. Okay. Now we can begin here in a second. Jeremy, you're there. Good. All right. Everybody's here. It's seven oh three. Uh, Tony, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. This works. It works real well when all five regular members are here because I don't have to jump back and forth between screens. Good. When we have to, when we have to appoint a 
an alternate. There are two screens I have to jump back and forth between. Everybody's here and I knew they were coming, so I'm already ready. We can roll. You know, I wonder if the WPCA should pay for additional monitor for you, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, you know, the issue isn't the monitor. The issue is you just you have to get out of one screen to get into another screen if you have a if you have an alternate. Okay. All right. So I will call the meeting of the Water Pollution Control Authority regular meeting on Tuesday, July 27, 2021, to order uh, at 7:03. And we have joining us uh, Ed Lynch, Terry Jones, Bill Soms, Jerry Norris, Sharon Wadecki, uh, Stan Uber, Tony Capone. Um, and James Ball and Monea Tufik. Uh, and uh, we have, um, looks like we have uh, Ray Va uh, Valentini uh, also joining us. So the first thing, of course, after the roll call is, are there any residents out there? No, I don't see any. All right, we'll move on. So I will- Then let them in if there were. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't seem invited. I'm actually surprised. Because, well, we'll get to this later. Uh, <laughs> the individual who wanted to connect to um, in Gallup Hill, who's only who's 800 feet away, wants to drill a well. So we'll, I don't know. We'll have that. Probably have to add that to the agenda. But he's not here. So <laughs> anyway, okay. So I will make a motion to approve the minutes of uh, June 22nd, 2021. Second. Second, are there any additions, deletions, or modifications that we need to make? And Tony, I, th I think you said there was something we had to change, or maybe it's been fixed. Uh, no, it, it got fixed. There was a, it was interesting though, under old business, um, instead of having Mr. Valentini, it had my Valentini. Uh, <laughs> which had this been February would have been quite appropriate, but yeah, my Valentine, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, Christina did correct that. I told her to correct it, and she didn't. She didn't have to um, republish it, but since she had all the uh, the right. uh, other things, she just sent the new copy out. So she it's did. correct. Uh, I guess I have to ask Terry. Did it pass muster? <laughs> oh yes, it did. It, was it did. All right. All right, so if there's no other further discussion, uh, I'll make uh, I, all those in favor of approving the minutes of 6 uh, 2021 signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, aye. All right, are those opposed? Hearing none, I don't hear any abstention, so it passes. All right, we go to the operations report. Um, nothing significant there, although Ray, I don't know whether you've driven by in Gallup Hill, the old pump station, but there's a tree that's fallen down. Do you know that? No, I, I didn't. But I'll yeah, it's you. not a big tree, but it fell right down. It missed the building, but it's significant. You know, it's got, it's blocking the driveway. You won't be able to drive in there. So I just noticed that the other day. There's a tree, the tree falling. But anyway, does anybody else have any other comments? Um, I don't, mostly, uh, it looks like we have some, I don't know if it's significant, we get some hydrants to fix. It's pretty detailed. Those, yeah, as of now, most of those hydrants are fixed. I think there's one or two that haven't made fixed yet, but uh, we did fix them after. I wrote, the, we had to write this report two weeks ago because uh, they were, uh, I forgot who went on vacation, but, uh, for the legend, so we got we're all we're pretty much all closed out with the hydrants. Yeah, I was I didn't see anything in there that would would warrant a new hydrant. That's the one nope. thing. Nope, there's That's just one. repairs. Okay, good. All right, um, we'll move on then. The year-to-date water uh, sewer and water report. Uh, I just want to point out to the commissioners that we are using more water. And I'm going to say, uh, well, I was going to use the word significant. Um, maybe it's not significant, but it is more water than what, what we had budgeted for. And that's good news. It's just more revenue. Um, I don't, I'm, not, I'm kind of surprised with the amount of rain we've got, why we're using more water. But that's, that's just a mystery. Um, if I go to the sewer, 
The only alarming thing is the amount of electricity we're using. Um, and that brings us to Steve Banks um, uh, report. And he's saying that uh, we, we're spending more money with um, green skies. And I don't understand that either. So I guess, Bill, we have some interesting dynamics here. Um, and I, I'll have to investigate why the invoices are. He's saying that the invoices for Eversource are around $1,000. Green Skies was around $2,700. I'm not sure where that came from. I, I don't either. It's been a rocky experience from day one. Yeah, I guess it has. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just kind of scratching my head here. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm not picking on Green Skies. I mean, all the way back to Solar City. Yeah. Um. I'd like to highlight uh, the New England pump. They were able to get pump number two going, but uh, I, I've got to I got to push Steve to get a request for quote on getting those valves fixed. You know, we're in a we're in a kind of a vulnerable position where they can't really use pump number two. Um, it's only half the rate, mm. um, so I we, we're going to have to push that along. Um, it's the only point there. Ray, any anything to do with the Fox run meter update? We we finding any issues with that or? No, nope, we're, uh, so we had a, uh, two people retire out of the shop and uh, put us in a little manpower oh. issue right now, uh, which we are working on. And so they they put everything together for the meter. I'm gonna send you up the, Final quote, I think it should be, the, the quote should be the same, but we'll send it up to you. And uh, we're gonna get this done before school starts because we have to shut off that line. And I wanna be there when the kids start moving in because we're in that uh, grassy area. Yeah, so, good good point. So were these re surprise retirements? You weren't expecting this? Oh, uh, they, well, they, some of them, I, I knew about it, but they didn't put their dates in until there's a, you have to give at least two months notice and they waited to the last time. So then you have to try to hire some and two months is not obviously long enough time you send it out and all that stuff. So, yeah, boy, that's tough. I hope you get, I hope you get some good candidates. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. Cause it's cutting back on a lot of stuff. We got a lot of people, including myself getting ready to leave. So, Oh, you can leave. <laughs> oh, I, I got another person that's learning part of my job, so I will have him introduce whatever. If we meet again, if not, I just put him, have him come over and we'll zoom in together. But my time's getting close. But you just you're just going on vacation for a couple of weeks, right? That's right. it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is that how that works? <laughs> I'll tell my wife that. Oh. <laughs> Ed, we lost Terry. Make sure Terry's not in the waiting room trying to come back in. You know, it's not showing him in the waiting room. Okay. You're right. We have lost Terry. We, it, it, it took him a long time to get on. And then, and then you know, because Jeremy got on right away as soon as I said invite. So he's having some, he's having some IT issues. Just wanted to make sure he wasn't waiting. No, he's not. I'm sorry. I, I, I hope he gets back in. So, um, all right, so that le that leads us into the Gallup Hill demo status. Uh, Bill, thanks for the update. We we now have requests for a per for for a quote on the demolition of the uh, tank and uh, the bunker. And I'm learning a, a, a quick lesson here. Um, we're, I'm I'm confusing Christina with tank because we have a tank repair to do and we have a tank demo to do, and the agenda got kind of confused between the two. So I'll have to make sure in the future that doesn't happen. <laughs> um, we only got, we got one feedback from uh, one company that basically asked whether we had a budget for this, which is kind of funny because- uh, yes. that, that's not to an RFP. <laughs> right, Stan. So uh, you know, it's, it's a first for me that basically says, well, no, actually, actually when I worked for Pfizer, sometimes vendors would say, well, do you have a range, a budget or something, you know, generic thing, but I thought- How much can is, I charge? Yeah, right. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny and entertaining. Well, no, we don't have a budget. You're going to tell us what it's going to cost. Uh, so anyway, that's out. That finally got out. 
you know what they might be asking Ed, is whether you have the money budgeted yeah how much are you Good planning point. to spend but yeah. do you have the money in the budget to do this because they don't want to do a proposal if if you don't have the buddy, buddy right. budget. Good point. So just tell them, yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, Marsha kind of told them that. Right. So I also look for the state wage rates. If it's if we think it's going to be over, uh, then they have to go state bid. Oh, they have to go state bid. Yeah, I, I told Marsha also, Bill, that, uh, you know, we do we do want this itemized. I mean, it may be that we can't afford to do the, maybe the bunker, but we can do the tank. I mean, I, you know, we need to know, we have to have options. Yeah. So, yeah, we need to know what we're going to have to be able to do with that. Um, okay. So here's the surprise bill. The, no, that's not the Oak Ridge. I'm sorry. I don't have, I don't have any further information on the Oak Ridge water main extension of the fact that it looks like a two inch line to those four houses. Um, uh, now we, so this is an agenda has kind of got mixed up. We did get an inquiry for an inspection inquiry from Interactive USI Services in Underwater Solutions. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm assuming that they also maybe do tank repairs. I'm not really sure. I didn't, I didn't really look at all the details. So Ray, do we have any, do we have any other comments about the, fair, the Fairway Drive water tower repair? Uh, no, well, okay. that company sends out emails to everybody because we get them too about uh, for inspections and stuff. It's this okay. time of year that everybody tries to do inspections. So they throw out massive amounts of emails around to everybody saying, when do you want to do it? So I, I tried to get a guy to come up to look at the top of the tank. But last week, last month, really, since the last meeting, we've had you know, rain, wind, uh, hot. Nobody wants to go up on a hundred degree day, stand on the tank. So, trying to work it if the weather's better to get somebody just to go up there and take a peek at the painting. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It'll hold up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, Bill, the extension, the one seventeen extension to the. Um, to the alleged transfer station is $1.4 million. That's right where I thought it would be. It was 800,000 yeah. 15 years ago. Yeah, that's, I mean, I know there's some money coming down the pipe, but that's a lot of money. <laughs> the payback is going to be hard to justify. Correct. Yeah, I, that amount of money. Boy, boy, Ray, that, uh, that's a 16 inch line, I'm assuming. Well, I was looking at that. So you have a development. If we even reduced it to 12, uh, yeah. 117 is a state road, obviously. So if you go out of the, that one lane, uh, we just looked at you would have to mill all the way to the yellow line. So when we do these state jobs, we give it a pretty good amount for a, you know, a foot estimate. And I know there's some rock up in that area, of course. So... Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's that's why that money I did it a couple times and they said it's like it's 4,000 feet to get to the the dump I, I try to get I sent you the map I don't know if you could send it out to everybody else yeah but, I'll send it out uh, that was and if we have to cut it off it's too long I couldn't remember Bill exactly how where we were going with it so I brought it up uh, past the about the transfer station area a little past it so yeah, that, that was it. They just, they want to wash the trucks down with that. Yeah. Hey, Sharon, for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, don't they use the Pfizer well? I think they go there because we gave that to them. I don't think they can use that anymore. Oh, really? Oh. I think there was a problem with contamination. I don't know, really? Bill, are they using it? I don't know. I, I, don't, they, I don't think so. They have a garage there. That's why I'm kind of surprised. Huh. All yeah, right. their well doesn't have much yield though. <clears throat> ah, and and the water's contaminated. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm thinking back to like when I was on the town council. I think we had to put in a filtration system mm -hmm. there, and we had to have bottled water. And they've got a system when they wash the trucks where they recirculate some of the wash water because they just don't have the capacity. So they would really like uh, the water main extended there. And I'm I'm remembering back quite a while. I think there was a developer at some point 
who was who was had this proposal where he thought we had uh, water up at the the transfer station and he was going to tap into it and extend it from there maybe even all the way to the preston line i'm 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 sure that proposal went away but yeah you know that's you know that's something to be aware of that this could drive future development yep all right um i kind of i did skip over something uh, uh, the ledger center sewer study you know i don't know what it is with these en engineering firms but boy they're hard to they're hard to get uh a commitment to get things out of them <laughs> he I told them we had a meeting uh, this week and I was hoping to get a status report. And if you if you'll notice, there's no status report. There's a bill. Got a bill, <laughs> no status report. So I don't know, I, I, it, I'll I take it as one of my things to do this week <laughs> is to rattle their chain. It's almost like deja vu with Fuss and O'Neill, but rattle, rattle the chain and see if I can't get something out of them. I know they talked about some kind of public meeting at the end of the month, but I, I haven't heard anything. Um, so where, where does that leave us with old business? Uh, we've talked about painting. Oh, well, we also talked about the waste system inlet pump valve project. I will get Steve to get an official proposal out for that. Uh, is there any other old business we need to talk about? Anybody know, Ray, anything? Uh, I have some new business. Uh, uh, if you. Uh, All right, well, we're going to new business. Go ahead and bring it up. What do you, what do you have? Okay, so the Pocatonic Cove ah. bridge to, from Ledger to Preston. We had the, uh, we got two bids back and the low bidder is uh, $1.45 million. And we have talked to Norwich, and uh, we're going to split that project 50-50. Wow. So in the agreement, uh, they want to have ownership of the pipe and, and that, and we'll work that out with the, when we do the operations agreement anyhow. So we okay. want to have either you, Ed, or the, anybody from the committee, to, we're going to meet with Norwich, Preston, ourselves, and get everybody in the room that signed the document to okay. understand what's going to happen. So nobody's left in the dark about this. So we're looking, well, we had to do some, you know, legal paperwork so we can get everybody to approve the 50, 50. We hope to have it done by next week, <laughs> but we send it to the attorneys. I don't know where that's going to go, but, uh, okay. If we can get, oh, we'll try to get some dates. I, I thought you were going on vacation or something. Yeah, I be I'm going to be gone between the seventh and the fourteenth of August. So that's that's just that one week. Okay. So. All right. Let um, me see when we can, if it can be next week, I will. Okay. Give you a call and, and I'll give you a couple of days notice. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm open next week. I I do have a question. Are we going to get the DPH involved in this, or or this is just this ownership? So yeah. this is just ownership. DPH approved the emergency uh, right. plan to send water back and forth. Right. And I've been keeping them updated that okay. we're doing the bidding and all that stuff. And okay. DEP has been involved. So we have all our permits. We just want to, everybody's going to be, you know, involved in it for the reason of, you know, don't hold anything back. And then if somebody, if water has to be flown, going across or ownership, well, how it operates, everybody knows what's happening. Good. Yeah, I, I had a suspicion. I drove by there yesterday, and there was some activity on the on the Norwood side. I was wondering what they were doing. Anyway, oh. okay, good. That's good news. Um, yep. That that's yep. a major interconnect that could be very beneficial to all to all of us. Yeah, I talked to the contractor because we were hoping to start before winter and now we can't get the insulation for the to wrap around the pipe because they don't make enough right now so it's probably going to be springtime wow supply chain problems already yep you can get the pipe though that's interesting you yeah. can get the pipe the only thing is it won't come in all the loads you have to wait stagger it yeah they can't get it out of one shop yet so uh, but the insulation is uh someplace no. So. Yeah, that's it. That, yeah, that's that's interesting. Um, I noticed 
uh, the other day when I was going across the Noank Railroad Bridge, they're rebuilding that bridge. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a 16 inch pipe. Now I'm, I'm scratching my head going, why do they need a 16 inch pipe to go to Noank? There's not that many homes and businesses. <laughs> but uh, that's the temper we're working at. We, I, I help out with Noank uh, in my spare time. So uh, they, they just put that in. It's HPD pipe. It's just a temporary pipe. And oh. I have the contractor said, Oh, I got this. And, We'll just throw it across the yeah, it's their whole main is only at eight. The biggest main is a 10 inch line. So I don't know why they have the 16 inch, but it's yeah, they could blow the island. They could blow that whole <laughs> landmass right in right into the Ram Island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we are into new business. And I'll make a motion to vote to approve the Weston and Sampson invoice, 6221413. The amount of three thousand three hundred fifty-five dollars for engineering services, and it's been seconded. Are there any comments other than the fact that I will rake, you know, sh shake their chain and say, "Well, we're looking for a status." <laughs> Bill, is there any any status on the trail? Have they have that have they been giving any presentations on that to the town council? I have not heard anything. Okay, uh, no. So we're we're not the only ones. Nope. <laughs> okay. Nope. All right, I, I have a motion on the table. Uh, any just any further discussion on this? Any any this is uh, the the only thing is had to be explained to finance how this uh, billing is being split up. Uh, okay, hearing none. All those in uh, favor of approving the invoice six two two one one four one three from Western and Sampson, signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, all those opposed. Hearing none. It it's approved. And boy, his, this is actually the next uh, item is the is uh, the meters. How many? Boy, we must be uh, we must be adding a whole bunch of uh, uh, people to our to our water system, uh, Ray. Thank you, you, you have uh, you have been getting a lot of meters. This is an older bill. This bill was what was this? Thing done? This was a while back because what happened was. Uh, along with some other internal issues. I signed off on this a long time ago, but uh, was told that I didn't do it right. So it, it bounced back and forth to the director's office a couple of times. I mean, we bought these meters, uh, trying to find a date. Back in April. Yeah, April. So it, it bounced around. He kept it because we're supposed to get POs and we never did because it, we bill you direct and you pay us and we never did that. So now after the five year contract we've had, he figured we'll start this now with this one. So uh, that's what happens. Uh, I, I actually see it on the uh, TI sales and need a PO. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's that's after he signed it. So it worked out real good for me. We had a couple of issues on that. So, but we're, we're all better now, so. All right, good. So I will make a motion to approve invo uh, GU invoice uh, 19296 for the amount of $6,189.60. Second. Seconded. Uh, any other discussions on it? Uh, hearing none, I'll entertain a vote. Uh, all those in favor of uh, invoice 19296 signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Uh, uh, it, it, it's passed. And Terry, I'm sorry. I oh, Terry can't join. It, it's he's hung on joining. I don't know what happened. <laughs> he, he he's hung I up. I asked you to look. <laughs> I mean, I did invite him again, but he's he's hanging there. So I don't know what's going on. Sorry, Terry. All right. Uh, I guess I entertain a motion to adjourn. Unless hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. All right. Um, yes. I just wanted to alert you to a thread on Facebook. I don't know if anybody's seen it. Um, Steve Maslin, the public works director, posted on Facebook or wrote a post for Facebook that they're going to be uh, paving Christie Hill Road. Oh, and, saw that, yeah. Yeah, he warned residents that they're going to pave it, but because there are continuing leaks in the Squaw water system, <clears throat> not to be surprised if they see the newly paved road dug up and you know when they fix leaks 
So that turned into a long thread with residents rightly commenting that so the town of Ledyard is spending money from taxpayers to pave this road and because of an antiquated system that has no replacement plan and needs to be replaced the taxpayers are then going to have to suffer poor roads etc cetera, etc cetera, waste of taxpayer dollars I think it's a legitimate complaint I didn't comment but I think this is something that um, you guys should be aware of, but I'm going to suggest that the town complain directly to DPH about this. No, you didn't. Some of the thread started with the people thinking that the town didn't fix the water. System. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That took a while to get corrected. All kinds of misinformation. It, you know, it was, they thought it was the town's water system and the town ought to do something. And, you know, the usual, you know, complain. And uh, it, but I think it's a legitimate issue. And I, mm -hmm. uh, Bill, can the can the town pass an ordinance kind of like the state has, where we, you have certain standards that the road has to be reconstructed if you dig it up, like you have to repave an entire lane width or something like that? Ordinance forty five. Okay, so um, I guess we have to enforce it then. I don't know if it actually addresses that though, Stan, but that's the road ordinance. And I don't think it applies in this case because they're not tearing it up to fix it. They're letting it break open and then they have to fix, you know, the, it, it may not apply in this case, but they keep digging up because the pipes keep breaking. Yeah, but Stan is saying if they dig it up. So yeah. if Squaw digs it up, they have to replace it with similar materials, full lane width, all that. Right. Not, we but don't I thought that ordinance that. applied only if they dug it up for something new, not for repairs. Hmm. And then again, I think I thought it only applied if they were going to put something new in the ground, not for a repair. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll yeah, ask. check that. Um, Bill, this comes up with another thing that's going to come up. So the Ledger Center um, is looking for us for WPCA, not Squaw, supply water for the whole development. Yeah. But I told him that there was a challenge there with Squaw, and he, this engineer said, well, we will go to the walk. Good. This, the, the, walk, the engineer said, we will go to the walk and say, look, you know, this is, we'll just lay out the case and then tell Squaw they can go pound sand. But, you know, this also brings up another issue that we may have to bring up to the walk. You know, if they're not repairing leaks, um, you know that's not you know that, that that's not a good position to be in either. Yeah. They they don't they don't have the money. I mean they they went they, well, they went to get money and they were told by the state they're not going to get it. They're not going to get. They weren't even given um, any grants or bonding or anything. Because they're um, not doing anything to fix their system. They're just trying to take up over more systems. Right. Welcome back, Terry. Yeah, you there, Terry? Oh, there he is. Yeah. He, sir. <laughs> wow. I don't know if he can hear us, but he's there. All right. Well, uh, there, I had to admit, looks like I had to admit a phone number. Is that Terry? <laughs> Could be. His oh, face is frozen. He, he looks frozen. I think you lost him again. Yeah, yeah I think I think his hey. computer. We need to tell Terry by sign language to I, get I, a new I, computer. I, I, <laughs> but I don't think he can see us either. <laughs> Probably. I, can, can you hear frozen there? Phone. Yeah. Hear me on the phone. Yes. Hi, Terry. yes. There he is. <laughs> okay. I don't know what happened, but right after we voted on the minutes of the last meeting, it locked up. And then my screen went absolutely blank white. That's not good. And after, after, no, definitely not. And then after about five minutes, it said, there's been a Zoom crash. Do you want to send a report? <laughs> and I didn't know what to say. So I said, no. And I've been trying to log back in ever since either on the phone and the, right now I've got, I can see myself and I can see your names, but I can't see any of your faces. Yeah, I think, am, uh, I, am I in the waiting room? No, well, you there. were, you were in the waiting room, but you're out of the waiting room. No, and, we just uh, lost your picture too. Yeah. I mean, your picture comes in and out and I think you need a new computer, Terry. <laughs> this from the guy whose computer always breaks more in meetings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it, wasn't, 
It wasn't easy, easy, easy. This is my second attempt to connect on the phone. The first time I just had elevator music uh, forever, like I was in a waiting room or something. Oh. You might have been, but it didn't show up for a while. I <laughs> did check because I asked him to check for you. Right. Yeah, I checked and you weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wondered if you knew anybody knew I'd gone. <laughs> I did. Then we figured it out. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, so what what did you do while I was gone? <laughs> we were just getting ready over? to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we passed two motions while you weren't here to pay a couple of bills. And that's basically it. The bills. Okay. okay. All right. Well. Um, well, we did talk about the extension, which was one point four million. We're probably not going to do. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. Had, before we adjourn, this was maybe a question for Bill. I, I see there was a story in the paper that the town did finally get our uh, award or, or the final amount. Uh, I guess uh, the the Congressman Courtney's office put out a notice about that. So is that, is that the ARPA funds? Yeah, exactly. You yes. know, how is the town going to spend those funds? Are any of them going to be available for water projects? Or Yep, I'm, I'm actually keeping a list. Uh, the latest I heard on it is it's four point, I think, 4.4 4 million total funds. Yeah. Um, water projects and sewer projects are legitimate uses. We can't do bridges, unfortunately. We have a bridge to replace. A lot of things we can't do. Um, but we can do water projects. So I'm keeping a list, uh, which I reported at some meeting. I can't remember where. Oh, the finance meeting. I'm just keeping a list of all the requests. So I have Oak Ridge Drive and 117 on there already. Yeah. Um, and it, it might very well be that those things get funded because there's so much money. Right. Could happen. And, and didn't somebody mention another request tonight? Uh, Ed, I thought you mentioned something that you were, were expecting a resident to show up to ask about. Yeah, this was the Gallup Hill connection. Uh, you remember his property behind the tank? And then Ray, yeah. had, Ray had suggested that we had some pipe, you know, before we tear up some piping in that project that we yes. would use we it would to run the line through. Yeah, so he's asking for he's asking to put in a well. Yes, but it's going to be tough to I'll tell you, the DPH really frowns on waivers. So I, I, you know, remember we had this discussion with him and then Ray said that, well, you know, we could probably extend a two inch pipe to his property. Yeah. So I don't know what happened with that. That we, I got no follow-up communication from him. Um, but what Ray got was another request to Grot Utilities to get a waiver so we can put a well in. So yeah, I, I think he has reasonable access to our system. Yes, he does. Isn't there a limit of 200 feet though? No, they <laughs> planning and zoning change it to a thousand feet bill. Oh, oh, okay. And I thought that was for developments. Yes, it was. I, I, I think you're right, but I don't know. Would this be considered a development? I, I don't quite understand what this is. I think it was just one house, wasn't it? Yeah, right. Um, so, so I, I should have said a subdivision. I think the thousand feet is for subdivisions. Correct. Probably. But yes. I recall that we had a house on Town Farm a number of years ago, and I think right. he was right on the line of 200 feet, and he got as well. Yeah. So this what this was a subdivided uh, piece of yeah. property, Bill. Okay. Uh, Peter did it. Yep. And I think. One house has a well, another one has a service, if I remember right. But at the last meeting, we were talking to the gentleman. I mentioned if he called us and we, he was worried about going across the water, there's a little, you know, dream pipe is dried up now, but uh, wetlands. And he didn't want to try to get a permit to go across it. But we never met after. He was supposed to give us a call and go out there and meet him. So. Now we just we just received this, and it, it can't be I can't sign it because it's it's legend. So that's yeah. why I sent it up. Yeah. Well, we've crossed wetlands before for for water mains. <laughs> yeah, that's right. allowable. Yeah, right. but that's what that was part of his uh, question at the time. So, 
Yeah, so Bill, we have to, I, I somehow have to communicate to this guy again that uh, the preference would be to go ahead and apply for a permit to get a, to get a connection, so. Yeah, I think you should just see what the regulations say. Yep, I, I can do that. Yeah. I, I, I'll find out. Um, okay, so Terry, that's, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, we, we, we didn't get, we haven't got a report yet from Weston and Simpson, a, 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 an update report and I will struggle with them, the, they, they, they did promise me, but I, you know, these engineering firms are very, um, they don't follow dates very well. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I just remember Foss and O'Neill and just shaking my head going, oh, we found another one. <laughs> yeah. They crawl out from every rock. That's right. They, they, they're pretty consistent in their, in their behavior. You know, you ask for something at a certain time, you're not going to get it. Anyway, they, they should be able to just pull out their last sewer study and start copying and pasting. Well, I mean, they did a whole pressure test at the high school. They did everything, you know, the preliminary testing and they did stress testing. So they have some data that shows that they can connect to the high school. And, but, you know, I like to see it in writing rather than yeah. some verbal. So, yeah. I mean, it's kind of important because this, if you got this, if you're getting this money, I sure want this to be shovel ready if we can afford to do it to put that sewer line in. Yeah, it doesn't even have to be shovel ready. Really? We don't have to apply for permission either. Really? As long as we meet the requirements, we just do it. All right. Well, yeah, again, I, I'm sure the town wants that trail in sooner than later, right? Yeah, I, I don't know why we haven't heard anything about that. That's been going on for quite a while, but I, I haven't heard a word about it. I mean, you have grant money for the trail. It's separate from the yeah, other. Right, right. Yeah, so I, I may, maybe we gummed up the works. I, I'll find out. I'll I'll make a call. Okay. All right. So is there any other business, guys? No. Uh, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Second time, Sharon. <laughs> okay, so moved. Everybody have a great uh, week, uh, and we'll see you, uh, I guess, next month. Okay. I won't be here next month. All right, you won't be here. Hopefully, Sorry. Terry's phone or his system works. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I got a month to work on it. <laughs> well, all right, guys. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Thank you, everyone.